What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on the free to play Town Hall 11. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today we're on that Town Hall 11 account. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite armies, 5 ICG. I've been seeing some requests for this as we've gotten up to Town Hall 11, and it's been a little bit since we've covered it. So we're going to talk about 5 ICG, what is it, how to use it, and how to get 3 stars and war with this army. It is my favorite army to use. And it's really, really strong, as we'll see here today. But before we hop into that, guys, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all those notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads. And I happen to notice that there's some new packs in the shop. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys want me to buy these new packs on the Fix That Rush. Of course, I would go to my settings, more settings, and enter Code Bash. If you are planning on buying those, please consider using Code Bash. I appreciate it a ton. But let me know if you guys want to see me buy those. I feel like I do. I feel like we want to buy those for the fix that rush account so let's talk about it what the heck is five icg it's kind of got a weird name right like we didn't come up with anything unique like i talk about lazy naming this is pretty lazy naming it's simply five ice golems with some witches and some bowlers and we're going to pair that with some bats now it's important to get the max bat spells in your clan castle that way you get more bats out of them we'll talk about that a little bit later so what we're going to do is we're pretty much just going to funnel and send everything up the middle of the base sometimes i'll bring a pecker for this and that's exactly perfect here we can send that pecker right there in that store and then we're pretty much just going to spread our five ice golems along the outside here send our witches send our bowlers and just start funneling in and then i'm going to use a log launcher which the log launcher has made this attack even stronger now there are times where this attack's not going to work it's not always just a straight up given that this attack's going to three star everything but it is a really powerful attack if you know how to use it i've seen a lot of people just throwing it in and not really knowing what they're doing with it, just throwing it into multis without getting the multis. We'll talk about that all a little bit later. But anytime you see singles, this army should be your first thought. So let's go ahead, let's run through here. You see, we're pretty much just letting everything work. Uh, trying to get as much of the splash down, mostly the wizard towers, since we have single target infernos. We want to get through these wizard towers as much as possible. Uh, and then when we start planning for the bats, we got to take into account where are the remaining wizard towers. So I noticed we got two over here, which aren't that big of a deal because we can fly right into those with the bats. Uh, we might even be able to get one of those down. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fly right in here with the bats. So we're going to send our bats right into this wizard tower. And then we're going to use our freezes to take down the wizard towers and make sure they don't hit our bats. One hit from the wizard tower takes down a whole pack of bats. So it's very important to make sure that you freeze those wizard towers or else you'll fail. So once all the wizard towers are down, it's pretty much just working through here. Now we do have some storages, but the bats can clean up the base for the most part. Uh, that's the nice thing about this. If you have a nice bat run and if you're patient enough and you make sure your bats stay up, your bats will be able to clean this base up. Now we do, like I said, we got a little bit of storages. Bats and storages don't mix well, so we might not actually get through these four storages over here. Well, that's just kind of an idea of how to use this attack. And I'll show you guys how to use it with a wall wrecker rather than a log launcher, because not everyone can get the log launcher. You know, it's brand new. It's a Town Hall 13 only. So I'll show you guys how to use it with a wall wrecker, because Town Hall 12s can give you a wall wrecker. But this is all we're doing with this attack. And like I said, anytime you see singles, you should be thinking five ICG. Singles just get ran through with this attack. The bats come in, clean up at the end. And sometimes on a base like this, if you're attacking in war, it might be a better idea to take out like that P.E.K.K.A. Or even just take out like one of the bowlers and add in just a little bit more cleanup. Add in another wizard, add in like a goblin or archer, uh, just to help clean up through these storages because bats take forever on storages. We might still get through here. We might still get through here, but that's the basis of how five ICG works. But let's talk about like, like what about, what about against like multis and stuff? That's what we're going to talk about next because I see a lot of mistakes of players going up against multi-target infernos and not attacking multis, right? You can attack multis with this, but you have to do it right. Are we going to get through here? It's close. It's close. Let's go boys. Let's go. Five ICG crushing out here. It's my favorite attack and it's very, very powerful against any town hall 11. But mostly, when you see those singles, think 5 ICG. So let's talk about a base like this. We got two multi-target Infernos. And this is one of the mistakes I see players doing. If you can't get to both of those multis, you shouldn't hit this with 5 ICG. In order for 5 ICG to work, you have to get both of these multis down. They're also in the middle of the base, which kind of mess messes up your bat pathing. That's another thing you need to look at. Can I get a nice line for my bat pathing? If we can't get this core compartment out 
Most likely not. It's not going to be a good run. So what I'm going to do with the log launcher, it's nice. We're actually going to do a corner funnel. And I hate corner funnels, but on this one, it's nice. So we're going to kind of go in from here and here, and we're just going to send everything up the middle. That's going to give me access to all of this, including the middle, which will be exactly what we're looking for. Now, again, keep in mind, if you cannot get to both multi-target infernos with your kill squad... 5 ICG might not be the best run for you on this base. Uh, maybe something like Electro, maybe even like uh, a hybrid on a base, you know. It really just depends what the base is giving you. 5 ICG is not always meant to run at every single one. I know in the past I've said you can 5 ICG any base, and that's true. I feel like I can 5 ICG pretty much any Town Hall 11. But I see a lot of players that aren't really familiar with the attack trying to do that and they don't know the fundamentals. So that's a big part of it is knowing the fundamentals and knowing what to get out. With the log launcher, it's a lot better. Like you notice that log launcher got that first inferno out. The log launcher is going to get the second inferno out. But I figured that with our Yeti in the clan castle, we would be fine. We got a little bit lucky to be honest. The Yeti out of the clan castle, I thought may be able to get in there and get the infernos. Uh, but they come out and get the eagle. The eagle needs to go down as well. That needs to be another objective. You need to get that eagle down. And then we're just going to let everything work through here. If we didn't get this back inferno, what I would probably do is just let all this stuff work around this edge. And then I would have started my bats right on top of that second inferno. So that's something you can keep in mind as well if your plane goes a little bit sideways and you don't get that inferno. Uh, maybe start on the Inferno and drop a freeze on it and then work through there. But look at this. I got a nice back line, bat line through the back of the base here. Well, uh, we got direct access to this Wizard Tower. The other Wizard Tower went down there. And that's what we're looking for is a great bat line through the base. But again, if you don't get that multi down, you may have to go on the multi just to get it out. But uh, with everything going down the way we wanted it to we were able to get through there and get a nice bat line get a nice little run through this base so the multi is a little bit trickier and it is more prone to go sideways and i know like uh some some of my co-leaders and irritated ram they get mad because some of the guys will just throw uh five icg into multis without like a proper plan you have to have a proper plan to deal with the multis and that's exactly what we did there we get through we get the three star in war so uh, this this is my favorite army at Town Hall 11. When I look at a, a Town Hall 11 base, this is the first army I look for. Can I get a good line through the base? Can I make it work? That's always what I'm looking for. All right, guys, so I want to show you the version with the wall wrecker rather than the log launcher. And again, what you want to look for is any base with singles, obviously. Let's hit it. Let's smash it. But what you want to look for is a line to get to the Eagle Artillery. We need to get the Eagle down and as much splash as possible. So, like, if we go in through this top side, we'll be able to get just that. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to fly in, or not fly in, but work in through this top side. We got the P.E.K.K.A. again, uh, but that's okay. We could go ahead and throw the P.E.K.K.A. over here just to help funnel. Uh, we can go like this with a Witch and a Bowler. And then we could just work all of our Ice Golems right up top here. Get the Witches in behind. And then we can go ahead and start working up the middle. I want to just let this funnel establish. And then we're going to get that wa our wall wrecker rather in uh, right up the middle. Notice that I hold a few troops here. That's just to make sure that we get a clean entry into the base and we get everything up the middle. All right, so we're in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rage. And I'm going to hit the warden ability to protect that log or the wall wrecker rather. We need to make sure that the wall wrecker gets through that next compartment and opens up the base for us. So with the wall wrecker version, you're going to go ahead and you're going to open or you're going to use your warden ability a little bit sooner than you would with like a log launcher version. Really easy for me to say, right? Uh, so from there, the, the next thing is patience. Just be patient. I know anytime I used to run this attack, my clanmate Hendo, he would tell me, patience, Bash. Just be patient on those bats. Let your troops work. We got a lot of stuff here in the core. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look for that bat line. All right, so let's see. We got ice golems up top here. We got witches working through there. We got our queen on the bottom side. And we're just going to be patient. But we're going to go ahead and start our bats right over here. Because I see a nice little line right here. We can go ahead and freeze this wizard tower. That top wizard tower went down. And then we just have to worry about this wizard tower. And really, you can bring more or less freezes depending on like what you're planning on having to deal with from there it's an easy clap guys it's an easy clap our queen's gonna get through here and just work out the base and the bats will help clean up the rest again and not always the best idea to have your bats cleaning up storages but we do have our queen and our warden up the warden will come and clutch and help you out but if you can get those bats to spread throughout the base you're gonna be fine we got the queen working we got a few skeletons working 
And it's kind of like a thing, sometimes you don't want to be too patient because then you'll leave too much up for the bats with not enough time. So it's a little bit of a balance there. When I say patience, I don't mean just wait until everything's dead and then send in your bats. Think about where you're going with the bats and try to save as much as you can. Uh, and Honestly, the more you leave up, the easier your cleanup's going to be. But you see right here, like... We are crushing these bases with the 5 ICG. The skeletons helping out, the bats helping out, and this attack is OP. It is my favorite Town Hall 11 attack. Anytime you see those singles, look how you can get to the eagle and get as much splash out as possible and wreck the base. All right, so let's take a look here because we do have some upgrades to do as well. Let's go, let's upgrade our gold storages here because we need both of these up. Uh, let's go ahead, let's upgrade one of these Inferno Towers. Uh, actually, hold on, no, wait. Let's not upgrade an Inferno Tower. I think, yeah, let's upgrade our Warden instead here. Let's upgrade, like, just a wall with this. We'll keep our gold down a little bit, but let's upgrade our Warden. Let's hit one more here today, show you guys another example. I'm going to switch back to the Log Launcher because I prefer that version, but let's go ahead and hit one more. I'll try to find a really tough base uh, and see what we can do against it. All right, guys, so this base could be tough, but it's got a lot of things working for us. If we take a look here, check this out. We got a bunch of Splash clumped together along with the eagle so our entry point is really obvious our entry point is right through here now we are probably going to leave this multi on an island like that that might be an issue later but we're going to be able to get most of the splash down early let's give this one a run i don't know honestly how this is going to go it might be a little bit sketchy uh but this is you know this is something you may want to consider using something else i like it because there is a lot of great uh, value for our entry uh, so that's what i'm looking at here is a lot of good entry for the or good value for the entry i'm gonna wait for this wall to open up this could even be a time like where we bring in like a wall wreck or a wall breaker rather uh just to try to get in there but i think we'll be fine all right so we're gonna work through here i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the warden here just to protect early as the eagle shots coming in Although we missed our king, but that's okay. But look at that. That log launcher gets a lot of value, guys. And we're honestly, we're not in a bad spot. Check this out. Here's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to let all that work through here. We got one wizard tower up top. We got one wizard tower there. That's okay. We can live with it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to clump up our bats right here. And I'm going to freeze this multi. One freeze should be enough, to be honest with you. We're going to freeze that multi. Uh, but we could, you know, if we wanted to, we could freeze another time. We're going to go ahead and freeze through this wizard tower. Again, making sure that wizard tower doesn't get any shots off on our bats. Because that would ruin the attack completely. But notice, you don't always have to be patient and wait for the very end. I'm going to save this last freeze just in case those witches don't get that last wizard tower down. Which it doesn't look like they did, but that's okay. We can pop our queen's ability. And then we have this freeze for the last wizard tower. And you notice, like, that was a little bit of a rougher base. But we were still able to get through there. Freeze before your bats get to their destination so the wizard tower doesn't hit them and you're fine. Look at that, guys. We get through the base, but this is something you need to practice. You can't just go throwing bats at multis all the time. You have to understand what's going to happen with those bats, how to use your spells. Uh, we were able to go ahead and make sure we only use one spell in the Inferno, two here, and then we had that last one for the wizard tower. So you need to understand like what's going to happen with your bats, where your spells need to be, and how you're going to be successful against the base you're going up against. You can't just spam it in there and hope it works. That's a big mistake. You have to plan out, guys. That's, that's the thing with the 5 HG. If you don't have a good line, maybe there's too many defenses around that multi, don't use 5 ICG. That multi was on an island. We had a nice line through the base, and that's why we were able to have success there. So let's go ahead, and let's uh, we'll save that gold for now, to be honest. And we'll just go ahead and upgrade our Warden to level 8. He's a high priority. We want to get him going up. We'll end that boost, no problem. But there we go, guys. 5 ICG, my favorite Town Hall 11 army. One of my favorite armies in the game. It works amazing, but you have to understand the mechanics of it. Hopefully this video helped you out with it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. And most importantly, don't forget to keep on Clash Bashing. While you watch that whole video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And here's a playlist of similar videos.